Hello Capricorn, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the first half of October of 2020 Spiritual Guidance Reading. I've been guided to the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland and I'm going to be doing a circle spread. I will then clarify with whichever tarot deck I'm guided to for spiritual advice and guidance. Okay. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Capricorn I'm reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, or Rising, Male or Female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. With clearly defined messages regarding the first half of October of 2020. So the card that jumped out actually is a card of heartache and loss. The blessings tied to this card is the number three, Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. This is a message whereby some Capricorns are going to recognize that they are healing from some form of heartache and loss. For Spirit is trying to guide this Capricorn to walk in the energies of patience. As with the number 14, this is about a new path and a solid foundation. So trust in your prayers that Spirit will guide you patiently into a new direction of stability and contentment. So in the thoughts position of the circle spread representing the first week and a half or two of October of 2020, we have the memories of love. So obviously, Spirit is saying we are guiding you to remain patient in amidst the energies of heartache and loss. For now is the time to let those memories of love go out into the river, into the ocean. And to now, in the relationship sector, recognize the energies of the power card. So the power card is about setting goals and meeting goals to accomplish what you're setting out to do. Conquering everything between the lion and his prey, right? Uh, going through a process of moving towards successful thoughts. Recognizing with the eight, right, the infinity symbol, that you have learned a lesson and now want to let it go and rise above into the six energies of success in your thoughts. So that may be on the thoughts of this Capricorn during the first couple weeks of October of 2020. Now in the creative aspects position, we have deception and envy. So someone here may become envious of another or, or are angry because of deceptive energy that caused heartache and loss. Spirit saying, let go of the old memories of love and now set new goals and intentions that will help you to move into a new direction. So you may feel a little bit of spiritual energy, thoughts, and emotions in the first couple weeks of October, Capricorn, because the number seven is a very spiritual number. It's about reflecting on how far you've come what you learned, and now which path you're going to step into that is a higher, better, more fulfilling journey than any that you have experienced before. Now in the actions position, we have the third eye chakra. So take action to recognize after your prayers. Ask for signs and synchronicities or just recognize signs and synchronicities. We've got two sixes here, Spirit trying to guide this person to let go and then open their third eye chakra to what is now to come. Beautiful. So we have in the emotional aspects position energies of balance by mid-October. Um, the number 11 to me is like, you get another chance to take a stab at something, right? I tried to do something, it didn't work, and now I'm going to push 
past it. I'm going to set goals and intentions and find balance in my life. As I pray to spirit in a patient way during the first half of October of 2020. For I know that I am going through a very spiritual transformation subconsciously because spirit told me, right? You're going from this sad, depressed face down here to now sprouting wings and flying free from heartache and loss because you are setting goals and intentions in a more powerful direction with a more powerful soul in relation to another or others. You're going to hopefully recognize what you learned in the area of deception and now trust in your third eye chakra that as you watch for signs and synchronicities, you will start to feel more balanced in your life. Like you're ready to move forward because you acknowledge this transformation within. That which is freeing you from that heartache and loss. So it's a great time to set goals and intentions day to day for maybe an hour or two each evening or weekend. Whenever you're not working. It's a good time to shut off the TV, light a candle, play soft music, and write, draw, paint, do photography, pottery, poetry, music. For every day, an hour or two, where you can just ground yourself and allow yourself to patiently move towards, first of all, balance, right? Working on something is going to balance you, it's going to ground you, and it's going to open you up to new signs and synchronicities, new ideas. Okay, so I started out with like pottery and essential oils and eventually found my way to tarot after many years. For a lot of people, it's time to discover your sole purpose, your reason for being here, what it is that makes you happy, and how you can start to plant seeds to manifest a long journey of happiness. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have prosperity begins as day-to-day -day I plant new seeds, goals, and intentions regarding a new path, a new direction. Day-to-day, -day, as I plant new seeds of prosperity, I can push beyond energies of deception and now find balance and get clear that I needed to let go of what was and set new goals of prosperity. Because that's where Spirit's trying to guide me. So Spirit has given you the strength of the solar plexus chakra being lit up in the first half of October of 2020. This is the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, saying, uh, have the strength to obtain knowledge and wisdom as you plant new seeds and go through this transformation. Whatever you put your time and effort into, it will help you to recognize new directions, goals, ideas, plans, projects, and recognize as well that you're leaving a path of envy or deception behind and are finding balance in your life once again. Whatever you guys are planting, especially having to do with prosperity, you will then be able to patiently move into a path, not only where you're balanced, but where you're recognizing uh, new wisdom through signs and synchronicities. So there's a lot about remaining patient, grounding yourself. So in a three-card summary to my left with the same Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, we've got the first week of October being clarified by light, discontent, and boredom. So Spirit's really guiding this Capricorn right off the bat in, in the beginning of October of 2020 to recognize the light of your inner truth, who and or what you were meant to be. What is it that you enjoy doing or you've always wanted to learn about or do? What is it that you can teach others to learn? When the discontent and boredom card shows up, this is actually a message to avoid discontent and boredom and replace it with goals and intentions for the future where you can find that balance we talked about, where you can recognize your truth about which path offers me a more solid foundation materially, creatively, financially. For as you emotionally withdraw, you will eventually recognize that you have triumphed that you have let go of a harmonious connection that caused heartache and loss so by the second and third week if you focus on planting seeds of prosperity for yourself 
spirit saying you will be freed from these energies of disruption in your soul and you will recognize that that path has gone full circle with the universe energy you will step into the portal of a new beginning something that may come towards you very quickly and unexpectedly if you have hope if you take action to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities when it comes to success, what does success mean to you? What is it that you want to research or learn more about? Now's the time to let go of old memories of love and have hope that something better is going to come your way. Yep, look at we've got the two uh, of wands here. Movement, choices, decisions, spiritual unions where you plant new seeds day to day, and love begins. Love is about patience and kindness and happiness, coming into connection with the right person, place, circumstance, situation. Because you planted seeds and you let go of energies of deception. So we have foundation, achievement, and the heart chakra being lit up. And by mid-October of 2020, Capricorn, you are being guided into the right partnership or alliance and that's what you're going to learn about spirits and we're giving you the strength to wait until the correct partnership or alliance comes along do not allow yourself to become trapped in fear right boredom and discontent will cause fear and fear is about not working on your goals and intentions not knowing what you are working towards for as you sit in solitude, they're giving you this book saying it's time to research. What is it that you want to celebrate in your life that brings you great balance? For whatever it is you're passionate about with the sacral chakra being lit up, the area of creativity and passion for some, there will be triumphant success because you used your wisdom of the past and now you are waiting, choosing wisely as you listen to your intuition. So whatever this is, be it work, professional, or personal. I am going to clarify by bringing in my second Lenormand deck. All I know is I got it on Etsy. I lost everything as far as emails connected to this deck, but I love it very much. Please clarify, confirm, and or provide spiritual guidance for this Capricorn during the first half of October of 2020. All right, so in the center of the circle spread, we have the beginning of October, a Capricorn who's dealing with energies of heartache and loss, but the advice is to remain patient, to devote yourself, I feel like, to you. What are you working on or towards? Something that grounds you will help for you to remain more patient when it comes to you, maybe questioning your devotion or the devotion of another or others. In the beginning of October, Spirit saying with the memories of love energy, it's time to let go of someone who was manipulative or dishonest with the Fox energies. It's time to release that and patiently devote yourself to healing from that in the first week and a half or two of October of 2020, Capricorn. So in the relationship sector, it's about that infinity symbol. I'm not going to repeat unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles, but instead I'm going to set higher goals and intentions in the relationship sector of the circle spread. When it comes to the ring energy, I'm going to set goals and meet goals and wait on the devotion of another. And I'm going to create an ending with the scythe energies, a very quick and swift ending to where I can tell spirit, please take away energies of deception or envy within me or another. For I am going to trust in my actions position that whatever I work on or towards that spirit is going to guide me into a path of success. So it's a time not necessarily to take much action, Capricorn, but it is a time to get clear about what it is you are devoting yourself to, right? We're all supposed to be working on what is it that motivates me personally, day to day, about my own life. So you have some time here in the first half of October, Capricorn, to let spirit guide you towards emotional balance. As you try different ideas, as you paint, draw, write, uh, keep a journal, yes, emotionally, 
you're going to be able to sweep away from indecision and find balance. For you're going through a very spiritual transformation. Remember this during the first half of October of 2020. And you're being guided to just ground yourself with the tree energies. Plant new seeds, goals, and intentions. Devote yourself to whatever commitment, partnership, or contract, or project you want to create for yourself or with another. Now's the time to allow yourself to transform. For some, someone here, yeah, the transformation is about releasing what was in commitment, no longer devoting yourself to that, but to transforming and devoting yourself to your own personal goals and intentions. Day to day, look at the seeds you plant will grow and prosper. So Capricorn, day to day, whatever seeds you plant in the area of prosperity, you will eventually be able to move into the direction of this transformation. Whatever you seeds you are planting when it comes to what you're passionate about, right? We're all moving on to the internet and are creating things that are our gifts, our purpose here on earth, and marketing them via one of the many internet platforms. Amazon, Etsy, eBay, you name it. So it is time to cut away from energies of deception and envy and unhealthiness and even of confusion by patiently planning what it is you've always wanted to learn about or do. For that's what's going to bring emotional balance back to you. So you have the strength of the solar plexus chakra to research and observe, to obtain wisdom until you get clear about what it is you're wishing for. And because Spirit is bringing in the star card, whatever it is that you are wishing for, Spirit's going to bring you the right information that's going to excite you. It's going to bring you signs and synchronicities and out of the state of the confusion of the moon because uh, you're going through a rebirth. You're planting a seed. For some of you, you are letting go of someone and now you are planting a seed with someone new and you're able to sweep away from what was. Ask Spirit to take this energy out of your mind, out of your path, out of your journey, and off of you. Whoops. And ask Spirit to please bless you with a balanced and patient energy. Because it is time here for someone to transform and step into who they were meant to be and make a wish come true. But there's like, they're all focused on something unhealthy. So the, like the collective Capricorn, it's about leaving what is unhealthy behind. Choosing wisely when it comes to a new direction and then giving birth with historic energies to a new location, idea, project, hobby, gift, talent, or skill. Connecting with someone maybe in a leadership position and with the number one, traveling into the direction of a job offer or opportunity. Leaving behind envious or deceptive people. So there's a few different people I'm feeling here for. Um, I think I'm going to close by bringing in the affirmation deck. Spiritual advice and guidance for this Capricorn, please. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, representing the first half of October of 2020. Personal growth. Okay, so the transformation has to do with personal growth. The card says, as I move towards greater consciousness, I feel old thoughts and habits fall away. I now devote myself to remaining patient and let go of old memories of love. I can sit in wonder now in my thoughts position and enjoy being an audience of my own life as I watch myself grow personally. For in the relationship sector, I'm being guided not to take communication, circumstances, people, or situations personally. For if someone starts to speak unkindly to me in the relationship sector, I'll remember that they have got something going on that doesn't have to do with me. I'm going to create my own personal growth and have the courage now to bring a quick and swift ending to energies of deception or envy. I am courageous, and when fear shows up, I don't run away from it. I use my courage to conquer it. 
Now, by mid-October of 2020, we have the moon trying to find clarity, spirit bringing you signs and synchronicities regarding success with the number six and nature. So it's been very important collectively for everyone to kind of release their inner hippie and step out that man-made box. You may notice that if a lot of people are starting to move out of the cities, take a walk in the woods, smell those flowers, and hug some trees. That is what will bring balance in your life. That will help you to sweep away from an old path, number one, and now with the number 11, move forward completely differently. Now you can follow your heart emotionally and know that your heart will always lead you to a balanced energy. Now in the subconscious position, we have a spiritual transformation. As you plant seeds, goals, and intentions, you will go through a rebirth and receive abundance. Congratulations, it seems as though you're due for a little piece of abundance pie. Feel like you don't deserve it? Knock it off. It's already plated and ready to hit your table. So don't think, take things personally. Know that you will have the courage, especially in the first couple of weeks of October of 2020, to... Uh, follow your heart, step into nature, sit in wonder as you reflect on the movie of your life. Day to day, plant seeds of prosperity. Um, because someone here will be traveling towards this abundance. Okay. Day to day, they're saying the energy is all about friendliness. In the first half of October of 2020, know that whenever you smile, you make someone's day better. As you plant new seeds, goals, and intentions and move into the direction of abundance, you start to feel more friendly. You start to recognize how much you have grown. And in your inner strengths position, Spirit's giving you the strength of the power card to make your wishes come true as you research, learn, Obtain wisdom and understanding. I am strong. I am grounded. I am powerful. My wish is coming true, and I will recognize that maybe by the 3rd of October for some. Personal growth, nature, wonder, following your heart, not taking things personally, but walking in energies of courage so you can cut away from unhealthy energies and move into abundance even if that means emotional abundance look at this the card on the bottom of the deck says ideal partnership so if you were second guessing this capricorn know that the card says i am a rare and precious find and my brilliance will be reflected back to me when i am paired with a true match my ideal partnerships and working partnerships are easy and free-flowing. I deserve greatness because I am greatness. I will choose wisely now as to what I'm going to give birth to and sit in wonder of my personal growth because now I have the power to truly follow my heart. Thank you again for stopping by. Thank you to those of you whom have liked, shared, and subscribed. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. Thank you to those subscribers who have met via face-to-face -face in my live Zoom uh, reading, podcast, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is on Wednesdays at noon, U.S. Central Time. If you're interested in attending face-to-face -face and talking about these energies and how they have helped for people to find that higher, better path of peace, joy, and happiness, write me at my email, josiek42 at gmail.com, and I will send you the link and the invitation. Thank you to those of you whom have attended my live video podcast on YouTube Thursdays at noon, U.S. Central Time. Um, it is only during that live uh Zoom uh, video podcast on YouTube where I offer a one question reading for a minimum of a $10 donation. So uh, many blessings to you guys. May you find that path of peace and abundance. May you have the strength and the courage to know that it is safe now to follow your heart and to make the right decision when it comes to an ideal partnership, be it professionally or personally. Take care and God.